All right, guys, the day that we have been waiting for is finally here. We are playing Diablo 4. Um, now, we just watched the intro cutscene, and we're going to get ready to choose our character. I'm not quite sure what to pick just yet. I'm going to look at all of them. Uh, I was leaning towards a druid, but I don't know just yet. Last time we did a, a necro through the uh, playtest, but right now we don't know. So let me go through that. We're gonna. I'll bring you guys in through the character select screen we'll talk about what we're gonna do for this series and yeah man i'm super excited i hope you guys are excited too let's get into it all right so here is our druid i kind of went for like the old grizzly woodman been through some shit i didn't put any markings on them although uh, only because they they kind of put markings on the face too but um this guy looks pretty cool he's got the little nose ring i didn't pick that it's just there it's like i picked zero for jewelry but there you go all right we're gonna play hardcore and uh let's see how it goes all right and this is us now yep yep all right let's go this is kind of like the beginning i didn't play druid doing during the beta but um i'm excited to try it also why is my guy carrying around like a piece of wood it's not a piece of wood it's a totem okay all right <laughs> all right so we just hit level two we're gonna take storm strike as our first ability because it gives us the most spirit generation and it has a 25 percent damage reduction which will be helpful down the line so we're, we're gonna go with that one first just dropped a recipe. What is this recipe? Elixir of death evasion. Bring to an alchemist to teach them to craft elixirs of death evasion. Learn this item and unlock a recipe that can be crafted at the alchemist. I wonder what it does. All right, finally, some enemies. Let's see how this uh, storm strike is doing. Death evasion again. We got it twice now. Yeah, I think, oh, level three already. I was gonna say, I think storm strike was a pretty good first choice there. Got some pants as well. Determined pants, 54. Plus seven willpower. Oh, look at that. that look, that's looking pretty dope though already. Picked up some heavy boots. Let's see what that looks like. Plus 10 armor, definitely putting it on. We actually have to be a little careful. Even though we're playing on world tier one, we are playing a hardcore character. So we do have to be a little careful. Let's see these gauntlets. 29 plus six strength, let's put it on. Okay, and I just realized we hit level three, so we, did, we didn't actually pick our next or spend our next skill point. So we're going to take Enhanced Storm Strike. I was actually looking at uh, Maul here and then the Enhanced Maul, which gives you 2% Fortify on any hit. So I don't know if that stacks so much, but we're going to take this one. Maybe later on uh, when we need to be a little more tanky, we'll go ahead and respec. But we'll go ahead and take Enhanced Storm Strike for now. All right, and I kind of at least want to have one uh, wear bear attack. So we're going to go with Pulverize, uh, at least to start us off. We'll see what we do later on. I don't know. Okay, that was actually pretty dope. Yes, yes, that's actually so strong. I'm not going to lie. That attack is so damn uh, uh, satisfying. I think this is actually the first boss. Let's go, let's go. Oh. Get behind him here. Oh, bounce out bounce out all right we got this guy there we go pick everything up heal ourselves pick up the pants now let's take a look all right hide tunic actually gives us way more uh armor here so we're gonna take that this one's equal determined lumber axe so 69 damage per second and plus 20 willpower we'll take that reposting club 35 less 34 less damage but it has 3.5 damage to close enemies strider's tunic plus five on the armor let's put it on oh boy he's gonna be cold Down should be safe all right now. yeah and i think this is actually the part where we get uh drugged up and party all night and then they take us over to uh get cut up uh-oh there it goes yeah actually i really love that the cuttings are in your character's armor and all that stuff oh boy this guy's even have a system dude this guy came in right as the music stopped Pulled right up to the little duel I was sitting on and pulled me out, man. Let's see what we got here. A Strider's Tunic plus 10 armor, 1.5 damage reduction from distant enemies. Sounds like a plan. It's yellow. Interesting. Oh, we just got this uh, amulet from the quest. We're going to take it. 4% resistance to all elements. Here we go, level 5. And we're definitely going to take Enhanced Pulverize. We, need, we, we should at least try to get a, a couple skills uh, early on before we uh, try and master one. 
Yo, pulverize is hitting so good, man. Oh my god. Just picked up some strider boots. Let's take a look at these. Plus 28 on the armor, plus six strength. We definitely put these on. You know, you'd think after what That's happened in the story. first uh tavern over there in the beginning, he'd be like, I'm not eating nothing from anyone this? around here. Shoot, I think they killed the survivor. No, no, it looks like she's still alive, so we're good, we're good. Drink some drink some potion, jeez. This last one's a little bit tougher. Nice, nice. Let's open this chest, see what we got. All right, so the two hand axes have 33 and 37. I don't think we can dual wield, can we? No, we cannot. So we're gonna, let's see, an ax and the totem puts us at 64, still way less than our 72 from the uh, determined lumber ax. Plus the determined lumber ax has plus seven damage to healthy enemies. So our first hit, it just has been devastating. So it's pretty good. All right, we made it to Kiovashad and uh i think this is the first big town in the whole game so i'm excited to start selling some stuff getting some getting some of these vendors working on things crafting some stuff that that seems pretty cool yo when did i get this wise leather doubling i just realized i had it I was about to mark it as junk we're gonna go put this on plus seven intelligence and plus 74 armor i mean why not all right, so let's find out what this elixir of death evasion for the next 30 minutes prevent death once and become immune for two seconds. Once this takes place, you cannot benefit from it again for five minutes. All right, and for that quest, we got intrepid reckoning magic boots. Plus six on the armor, six poison resistance. We're going to lose six strength though, but uh, I think we should put it on just to be a little bit more survivable. And they look pretty dope too. Look at that. Okay, so we just hit level seven. And we have to kind of make a choice here. Are we going to go with Raging Pulverize, which gives us a two second stun on overpowered uh, enemies or a 20% damage reduction for four seconds? I think I'm going to go with that. I think that's a little more important with a hardcore character. Let's go with this for now. We're hitting pretty hard. We're still on world tier one. So I think this is a good choice for now. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and increase the difficulty to uh, veteran or world tier two. So let's go there if if we die we die but at least uh we're gonna give it a go here already replacing these we barely got to use these determined treads magic boots 102 item power plus one on the armor and plus eight willpower oh <laughs> that was scary dude oh my god oh no dude we're dead we're dead get out of there we're treading on thin ice here oh my gosh use that last potion pulverize this dude oh my god let's pick all this stuff up oh wow that was that was actually kind of scary two-handed hammer let's take a look we're posting two-handed hammer 82 damage per second plus 13 eight percent overpower damage six percent we're gonna take that harmonious leather doublet plus nine armor plus four all stats take that with us and our dude is actually looking pretty cool i'm not really digging the yellow i, I wish i was kind of more blue maybe maybe black or brown but you know not bad not bad just picked up an insulting leather doublet it's got plus five uh you know what we're gonna keep the harmonious leather doublet plus five i don't know but it does bring us over one to one item power you know what? we're gonna put it on let's see let's see how it goes all right, and I think we're going to go with Debilitating Roar here for the defensive power. It, it, it is on a 22 second cooldown, but it does offer a 70% reduction in damage dealt by nearby enemies, which is really good uh, because basically it's like having almost a second life. So we're going to go with that. Yeah, we finally got a headpiece. Spiritual Strider's Crown, 124 plus five maximum spirit. Let's take that. All right, so I do think there is one weakness to the druid so far, and that's it. It's the attack speed. Attack speed's pretty low. Nice with that kill. We got level nine. Let's see if he dropped anything for us. He did. Powerful Strider hand wraps. 53 armor, 19 additional eight strength. We will put this on right now. They don't look as cool as the last ones. Check this out. Yeah, the other ones look better, but these look these are way better than those. Ooh, level 10. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I like that. Debilitating War also heals you for 4% of your maximum life, which is only 5. 
each second for its duration. We got our first ring here. It's a, it's a, it's a rare ring. Miner's Litany. 6% lightning resistance, 6% poison resistance, 7.5% damage to distant enemies, slowed enemies, and 2.5 damage over time. Good God, that's actually a decent ring. Let's see, we just picked up some gauntlets. These look, these look cool. All right, 2% critical strike chance. It is more armor. All right, we'll take it just because it's a item power increase overall. And we get the cool looking uh, gloves or gauntlets back on. And we picked up some stuff. All right, let's see. We got purple strider hand wraps. No. And a reaching rugged stave. 135 damage per second. We might have to swap out to this. That's a plus 28. Let's see what it puts us at attack power when we put it on. 139. Yeah, I mean, that was like 40 extra points. 30 extra points almost. And it has 6% damage to distant enemies. 6% damage to crowd controlled enemies. I don't even think we have any crowd control. Oh, we do. We do actually. So yeah, it might actually be okay. All right. And I think we're going to take this ancestral fortitude uh, to gain a 5% non-physical resistance. And it's basically just so we can take vigilance later on for 5% damage reduction for six seconds after using our uh, debilitating roar here. All right. Let's see. In that little fight, we dropped a rare two-handed axe, the impact 171 plus 36, 171 damage per second. Got 18 damage to healthy enemies, 11% damage to distant enemies, 24 overpower damage, and 9% damage over time. Putting that on right now. Let's see. It looks a little simple, but, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, we gotta watch out for that. Yep. Stop running away, dude. Oh my god. There we go. Why did I stay there? All right, this time it's going to be three or four. Look at that. I wish I had a way to like bring him closer to me. Yes, everyone come near me. Yes, yes. Mm. Uh oh, heal up. We got to kill at least one of these guys. Get a quick kill there. That's the only thing with the act, man. It's it's a little slow to attack, so it's hard to build uh, rage or whatever it is. We're going we're gonna to do our uh, pulverizing roar here, or whatever it's called. Oh, pull out of there. Get out of there. Actually having a dodge. Let's, let's, let's kill this guy right here. Yep. I'm not ready yet. Seven seconds until we can roar. Oh, get out of there. Let's get this pot. Get out of there. Okay, we gotta find the right one. Oh, what? I didn't realize that the uh, blood streaming out would hurt us. But we got a good damage on this one. Let's back out. Oh, shoot. All right, we got to be a little bit strategic here. Nope, nope. Oh, 
dude, this is so freaking hard. I must wait a moment. Come on, come on, three seconds. Oh, we're done. Oh my gosh, are we even gonna make it past episode one? Oh my god, we died, dude. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Holy crap.